In this video, you're going to learn how to put your subject in front of a totally blank, white background. I like to call it the void. There's nothing here, just the subject of your video. The setup for this white backdrop is very simple. You're going to need some type of white fabric. A sheet will do. You can find photography backdrops online. Okay, you're going to need something to stretch it over. I'm using my $15 laundry rack from Target. I've just draped it over that. I've elevated it quite a bit here. That's a table back there. You can tell when I stand in front of it because the way I'm setting this up, I can't use the full length of the fabric. So I'm gonna use this for shots that are from my waist up. If I wanted to do a full body on the white void, I would need to hang this in a bit of a more efficient way so I can use the entire white fabric. Uh, but this will do. I'll just move the camera closer or zoom in when I'm ready so that fills up the entire space of the frame. Okay, you're gonna wanna light that fabric with some type of light. I'm being lazy here. I should have two, one on both sides, but it works okay with just the one for now plus the lights in the room. Okay, and you want that light to be kind of close to the white backdrop so that there's room for your subject, me in this case, to be in front of the light source. Then you're gonna turn the exposure way up on your camera, okay? Because that's gonna let more light in. So all the light coming off of that bright white sheet will just get brighter and brighter and brighter until you don't see these creases, until you don't see these shadows, right? It'll just be solid white. So turn your exposure up. And when I do that, I run the risk of making myself overexposed. Here, I'm going to turn my own exposure up right now, right? And as I turn that up, as the white sheet washes out, so do I. So I have to be really careful with this. And when we get our camera placement correct and our exposure just right, you'll see that it doesn't look this bad. But this is bad. And that's a reason that we want the light source to be behind the subject if possible, okay? Because if it's in front, we're both lit the same, me and the sheet, we're going to both look like this. And you end up with something like this. It's almost angelic. And obviously you need to adjust that exposure. If it's a little too bright, like I might be right now, you can always lower it just a hair, play with your lighting, see what you can do, okay?